Hi, my name is Judd. And I'm Pam. We are the Hugs. This is my story. All of my family are believers, and we have always been involved in a Baptist church. It was Sunday morning, 1956. I had been listening to Aunt B and the children's Bible hour on the radio. I came under conviction after the program and went to my mother and dad and asked them, how do I get rid of my sin? They explained to me the gospel and Jesus saving grace. At six years of age, that was a lot for me to take in. But I asked Jesus to forgive me and save me. I had seen many people get baptized and knew that that was the next thing I needed to do. So I was baptized a year later at Austin Avenue Baptist Church. Let's go back to 1967. When my family's home church was dwindling, my family attended another Baptist church in the area. The first Sunday we attended, my cousin and I walked into the high school Sunday school class. There sitting on the piano bench was this sweet looking girl. I told my cousin as we sat down, see that girl sitting on the piano bench? I think I would like to date her. I won't tell you what his response was, but we did date and later she became my bride. I have been involved in many different parts of church ministry, from working in the nursery, choir, Hawana, young marriage couples ministry, men's ministry, and many other positions. One of my favorite verses is Joshua 24, 15b. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I guess I should say that I am somewhat of a survivor. In 1953, my family's home was destroyed by the Beecher tornado just north of Flem. My father and I were still in the house when the tornado hit, and we ended up in a ditch with a piano on top of us. On March 23, 2000 died, I had a massive heart attack and was on life support for nine days. My wife was told that I would probably not live. The summer of 2022, I ended up in the emergency room and it was discovered that I needed quadruple heart bypass. Yes, people keep telling me that God is not finished with you yet. First, I wanna say that everything I'm about to say in my testimony is a praise to our great God. I'm thankful that I was raised in a Christian home where every time the doors of the church were opened, we were there. I saw especially in my mom, a servant's heart. I was saved at the age of six in junior church after hearing a message given by the assistant pastor about sin, heaven, and hell. I knew I'd sinned. I hadn't done always everything I should, and I didn't always obey my parents and sometimes fought with my sister, and I didn't want to go to hell. So there in my seat down the basement of that little Baptist church, I asked Jesus to forgive me and to come live in my heart, trusting that he had paid the price for my sin. As I grew older, I knew I needed to be baptized, but I had a deathly fear of being underwater. So I kept putting off getting baptized. Finally, at the age of 17, I trusted the Lord that I wouldn't drown, and I was baptized at Covenant Baptist Church. I was a medical transcriptionist for over 30 years and loved it. We both retired three and a half years ago and decided to move to the west side of Michigan to be closer to our oldest daughter and her family. We started attending different churches in the area, and it was difficult because we had such a close relationship with our former church in Flint. It has taken a while, but we believe that God wants us to be a part of this wonderful group of believers here at Allendale Baptist Church. It will be our privilege to become a member of Allendale Baptist. It was so hard to come over here, and you left your jobs, you sold your home, and you started from scratch all over again, basically. You're gonna be involved in church again, be a part of the church. And uh, sorry to say it took us three and a half years to figure out that we needed to be a part of the church here, you know. Of course, we had COVID, and we spent right, three months COVID. in Texas yeah. with their daughter. Basically, we just always watched online, and so when we come back, and finally it's like, okay, 
we need to join the church. So we're gonna, you know, look towards that. And even though it means kind of a closure to our South Baptist Church days and stuff, that was the hardest for me. But then when we decided, you know, we're probably gonna end up staying here. And we just loved Pastor Mark's um, preaching, you know, and his friendliness. And we were impressed during COVID when he would get on Facebook and say, I'm going to the store, do you need anything? If you do, I'll, you know, bring it and put it on your porch. We never, we never had him do it, but I said, I can't believe it, because he had a servant's heart. Little things all kind of put together, but we knew once we started attending Allendale that this is where we would join. Probably one of the most influential people was my Sunday school teacher. He was always encouraging, uh, trying to memorize verses. My mother was probably the most influential person in my life as far as, as her, you know, training us that this is what you, you need to do and this is how you grow. And I'd see her get up at four o'clock in the morning and she'd sit there with her Bible and do her devotions before she went to work. Like I said, she had a servant's heart. I was gonna say, I think because we live um, in a senior citizen apartment, seeing all of these men and women, mostly women, who live there, who some of them are, are saved, I believe, but there's others who have no interest in the church, and they will basically tell you that. And so I think that's almost like, okay, the Lord's saying, this is your mission field. I've given you all these senior citizens here, and you come in contact when you walk down the hall to get your mail or when you go to the community room for something. And so that's kind of been impressed on me maybe in the last several months that this is a real mission field here. And as these people are getting closer to the ends of their lives, if they're not saved, maybe they don't have a whole lot of time left to hear the gospel or decide if they're going to respond to it. I'm thankful that Jesus has saved me and kept me through all of these years and has carried us through no matter what we've ever faced or gone through. He's been there for us holding our hand. Probably after my heart issues and uh, people will keep saying, well, he didn't die because God hasn't finished with you yet. Uh, that gives me a new perspective on reaching the loss. Uh, so it, has it changed my life? Yes, it has. Jesus changed us everything.